I just get out in the paddocks probably in about March and just have a good look around and really just for look for activity, look at, for activity in the warrens and pr pretty quickly you'll, you'll, you'll judge the, the amount of numbers out there and we're pretty proactive about control. Um, we, we just get out there and bait it. We just can't afford for those numbers to blow out and o often we find um, mice breed very quickly so if I'm seeing small ones around in March that's really telling me that, that, that they're ready to breed so we'll just get out there and bait. I have concerns with the high cost of the bait that basically all we're doing is just reducing the numbers till we can establish a crop and harvest the crop but we're not actually wiping them out and I think if we could get to a on-farm mixing we could actually get the cost of the product down so we could actually bait at the rates that are required to actually wipe mice out. Our cropping program is about 5,200 hectares. In 2010 we baited our whole pro program uh, immediately after sowing and then basically we just monitored from there on in and just applied as we needed it. Some paddocks got another application, some paddocks got another two applications. Uh, in 2011 our program was 5,200 hectares. Uh, we basically adopted the same strategy. We baited at seeding and then we continued to um, bait as we saw numbers. We also baited in the spring of 2011. I didn't actually think that was very effective. We baited about 3,000 hectares in the spring. Um, so our, our, total, our total bill for mouse bait in 2011 was was probably in the order of eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. This year we adopted a slightly different approach. Yeah, we were, we were seeing a lot of small num small mice in the paddocks earlier on. So we actually baited three thousand hectares of our program in March, just with the aim to try and to try and kill them before the numbers got too high. Now, just uh, just during seeding and after seeding, we're really just monitoring paddocks. We've we've baited another. 300 hectares for a second time but it, it, it's given us pretty good control and we didn't have the the extra workload of baiting during seeding. In 2010 we paid between 10 and 12 dollars a kilo for the zinc phosphide mouse bait. Last year 2011 it started around that 10 dollars it probably got down as low as nine dollars a kilo and then we were really fortunate that later in the year the um, APVMA approved a permit for bait mixing stations which lowered the cost considerably down to about a dollar a kilo. That made a huge difference to basically our whole attitude on mice control. We, we were then able to bait really when we wanted to and when we were seeing numbers. The bait mixing stations were fantastic but as professional farmers we really have all the tools available to mix our own zinc phosphide on farm. Those bait mixing stations just saved us such a lot of money and it really just gave us the tools that we need to control mice properly.